How do you inspire someone to do something that they're afraid of? Let's go again. To challenge themselves to do more than they think they're capable of. That's a question I think about a lot. Our mission at Paradigm is to inspire our athletes to be champions in life. And I think a lot of times the limiting factor is their own self-belief. Wrestling is scary for a six-year-old girl to walk out on the mat. Boxing is scary for anybody, for an adult. You know, jujitsu is scary. Even coming to your first practice for some people is scary. The fear of competition or the fear of a particular challenge is the fear of failure. It's the fear of what happens if I don't win, what happens if I don't succeed. If you have the solution to that, you've really got something special. You've got lightning in a bottle. So I started wrestling in high school. We had a really great coach. He was actually the freshman football coach, and he did that so that he could recruit the freshman football players to wrestling. And I think it was the first day of practice. I was like 100 pounds. I was one of the smallest kids on the team. And he watched me playing football, and I was like smashing into these guys twice my size. And I think he saw something in me, a toughness maybe, and he came to me and he said, you know, you could be a really great wrestler. I want you to come out for the wrestling team. That's all it took. It didn't take too much convincing. Um, I was kind of the, the kind of person who gravitated towards physical contact. So joined the wrestling team. I was terrible for two years, like everybody. I mean, wrestling is just not something you're going to just be good at if you haven't done it before. But by my third year, I was starting to get the hang of it. And by my senior year, I was the state champion. Just looking at the totality of my wrestling career, it gave me so much. It, uh, not just the sport of wrestling, but also Coach Glover and the way he made us understand what it took to be successful in wrestling, the values of things like hard work and dedication, that just sunk in with me at a young age. Like, not just myself, I think all of our teammates kind of embrace that mentality that we're gonna outwork our opponents, that this is a sport that you can win just through grit and hard work. Anytime I have a challenge in life, I believe I can do it if I work really hard and try my best. That's something that's really special about wrestling and I think I try and share that with our students and just inspire them that if you work really hard, you can do it. So Nina, what are these? Um, they're the medals I won in digits when wrestling tournaments. Wow. That's a lot. Do you ever get nervous before your tournament? Mm -hmm. What's harder, being on camera or doing jiu-jitsu? Being on camera. <laughs> Why is that so hard? Because I'm shy. I'm not used to it, huh? <laughs> How about this? What's harder, going in the cold water or going in a jiu-jitsu tournament? Going in the cold water. I have three children, two girls and a boy. Oldest daughter, Nina, is eight years old. Then I have Vera, who's six years old, and Kurt is three years old. 
Kurt will have some big shoes to fill because both of his older sisters are competitive and they're competing in wrestling, they're competing in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. So I get questions from parents sometimes. You know, my child is scared of competition. We've been sheltering our child and they're not challenging themselves. The fear of competition is the fear of failure. You can take that fear away by showing them that the result, the winning or losing, doesn't matter. The more you show that person that you care about them and that your care and your loyalty and your respect is completely independent of the result, that really does a lot to take away that fear. And when the kids start to understand that, it takes the pressure off and then they can see something that used to seem scary as an opportunity, a fun challenge. That's the way that I've raised my kids, you know, since they were very young. The second step is to show them that you believe in them. You give them tremendous confidence when you tell them, of course, I'm with you, however it goes, one way or the other. I'm with you and I support you and I love you and I believe in you and I believe you can do it. This goes not just for kids, this goes for adults too. You know, we train athletes of all skills from children, beginners, hobbyists to professional athletes and everybody needs that, needs somebody behind them, encouraging them and telling them that you believe in them. Even for professional fighters, they need to have, know that their team, their cornermen believe in them. You want a relationship with your coach and you have to know and trust your coach that your coach has your back and your coach is there for you and he wants you to succeed. And so when you find coaches that have that right mentality, that they don't want the spotlight for themselves. Their sole goal is for their students to be successful. And that's what really makes people love their coach. The instructors at Paradigm are doing such amazing things and they're making such an impact on people's lives. I think they deserve to be recognized. We all share the same vision. We want everybody to come away feeling good about themselves, feeling like a sense of pride and achievement in what they've done. It's taken time to get it right, but now I think when you walk into the gym, you feel that energy. Even across the different sports, we've got wrestlers, we've got boxers, we've got people doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but the funny thing is, is that the community crosses across all the sports. Everybody is there to improve themselves and to work hard. That's the source of what drives me to keep going. You know, That's our mission, that's our purpose at the gym, is to help people achieve their goals, to help people improve their lives, and to help people be champions. In Paradigm, I tried to build the place that I wanted. It's like my martial arts Disneyland. It's everything that I was looking for, especially as a young athlete and a young kid. It's the supportive environment, the family-friendly environment. It's the place that I wanna be for me and for my kids. And um, that's what Paradigm is for me.